Uh-huh. I think what's what's interesting going back to the social media thing is that, like, obviously there's been big pandemics and stuff in the past, but there's never been one really that has like been viewed through the lens of social media. Yeah. So let's say like <clears throat> I don't know Spanish flu or whatever, like hundred years ago, mm. you wouldn't be hearing about or not much about what's happening in China, or you wouldn't be seeing videos on Facebook from you know yeah. wherever yeah. in the world. So it just means it's so like everyone's so much more um, like in the loop. And you hear so much more information from around the world, which is think, pros and cons. I don't know. Yeah, I was going to say, like, do you think that's a good thing or a bad thing? Mm. Like, because I um, feel like it weighs up lots of problems. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it, I think it probably does produce more panic and like hysteria when you see, like, I don't know, videos of like some makeshift hospital in China or whatever. Yeah. But equally, it's, you know, it does mean people are like getting more informed and. It's good to not just think about the UK and realise that this is like a much wider thing and stuff like that. But it's, yeah, yeah. I don't know. There's so much like misinformation as well, which which is always bad. Yeah, I think that's the problem when everyone's got equal, like on, on social media, obviously everyone's got equal rights and everyone's got an equal voice and stuff mm. can go viral just just from being posted at the right time, viewed by the right people, shared by however many people. And it's just crazy that one random person who might have absolutely zero knowledge on pandemics on anything to do with this disaster might be able to spread information on such a wide scale yeah, that, for sure. you know millions of people could be completely misinformed mm. i think that's kind of scary in a way because i feel like that's happening a lot like there's a lot of a lot of um just sort of panic inducing content and a lot of just scaremongering going on online mm and obviously that's always happened but now in the age we live in with social media which everyone has access to like maybe i don't know 100 years ago you might tell your mates and they might panic and they might tell their parents but it would stay like in your town or whatever whereas now you can tweet it or whatever and it just gets spread so quickly and yeah i never found out like do you remember that thing about there's a story that you shouldn't treat it with ibuprofen did you read that oh yeah. yeah yeah i don't know i don't know if that's actually been I heard a rumor that was actually just complete yeah, like, so bullshit. I don't know. I had, I had loads of stuff out. So first, I think they said like, "Oh, the French." So there was this because that's the thing. It just this is one of those things. So it was a tweet. It was like a tweet or something. This woman was saying, "Oh, um, just so people know, the French government have been telling people have been telling people not to take ibuprofen because mm. anti-inflammatory drugs make make it way worse." And then suddenly, there's you know news from the UK saying no 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 that's not true that's not true it's fine and then i see other people saying oh now i'm getting recommendations from my gp and from nurses to not yeah. take it and it's just like this level of this confu- just confusion and of, of what's right and what's wrong could just get so we just get lost by reading mm-hmm. between the lines like there's too much content out there to actually keep stuff in its binary state of true or false you can't yeah, actually sure. manage yeah. it all yeah, here we go. Uh, Joe just linked me an article from on the, our government website. It says, ibuprofen use and coronavirus. There's no strong evidence with it. Mm. And it may well be true that it... Thanks, Joe. It may well be true, but it hasn't been proven. Like, it's just something must have happened somewhere, maybe in France, and yeah. it's just blown up from there. But, like, I guess we're not going to prioritise testing whether or not it does have a yeah. negative impact. But, yeah, it's a Yeah, pretty one. much.